as you're working around with document inside of Adobe in copy, you may want to insert, let's say, for example, file name, or you want to insert, let's say, for example, page number and so forth somewhere. Uh, so what you can do is use something called text variables for that. So to use text variable, you simply go over here onto the type menu. And then from the type menu, you go on to text variables right here. And here in the text variables, you can see right here that you can insert variables, like you can insert chapter number, you can insert creation date, file name, image name, and so forth, just like this. So you have a lot of options right here. So if you were to go around and insert chapter number, you can see that by default, it's one right here. But let us see some other variables as well. So if you were to go over here into insert variable, you can uh, add in creation date. So what happens is that now, uh, the creation date that is the date of the file creation has been inserted out just like this. You can also go over here onto the variables and go around and let's say, for example, you have modification date. So right now, uh, the latest date of modification for this file is August 17, 2020, 5, 10 p.m. So this is at the time of recording just like this, as you can see, and that is how uh, this actually works out. So if you were to go over here on to text variables, you can also go around onto header, output date, and so forth. You can also define your custom variables. So these are the existing variables. So what you can do is you can go around and create new variable as well. So you can go around into something like custom date, file name, and so forth. And then you can add in, let's say, for example, text before. So let's say I'm going to go around and add in an M dash and a text now after as well, include the entire folder path and include file extension as well, for example, and I'm going to go around and then the text after is going to be something uh, like, let's say, for example, another M space as not M space, but M dash as well, just like this. So I'm just going to go around and press OK. And there's the variable one, I can edit this out as well and rename this, I'm just going to go around and say this is the file name variable right here. So this is the file name variable without spaces, file name edited to make it more distinct because file name is already there. I'm just going to press done right here. And then what I can do is I can go around into type, I can go around to text variables, I can go to insert variable and here there is file name edited. So I can just go around and click this and what happens is that you see this, you see the MDAS, you see the file name, and you see that right there. So that is how you can utilize text variables to insert different text variables inside of Adobe in copy. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.